What is the minimum and maximum gravity level that nearly all humans can sustain over a five-year period? There are several questions related to effects of different gravity levels on the human body, but none adequately answer a fundamental question, what is the maximum and minimum gravity that nearly all humans can survive under and perform all functions without side effects? This answer says that many humans would receive significant harm in a 1.5 g environment over a six-month period and this answer claims that 1.5 g would not harm healthy humans over a seven-day period. A third answer claims that Earth's gravity is the only gravity level that humans can tolerate over a long-term period, yet I would imagine that 0.99 g or 1.01 g would not be much different than 1 g. I can't find an answer citing the gravity levels that all humans can tolerate without any side effects over a long-term period. To satisfy the requirements, the following terms must be met. At least 95% of humans would not have any severe long-term effects that they would not experience on Earth caused by the different gravity level over a period of five years. All humans can survive in the different gravity level over a period of five years. Tasks essential for living in a society should not be interrupted by the different gravity. All other environmental factors are the same. This does not require that machines operate correctly in the different gravity level, only humans. We don't know. You are asking to know something which is similar to the medial lethal dose dollar LD underscore fifty dollar. The value of dollar LD underscore fifty dollar for a substance is the dose required to kill half the members of a tested population after a specified test duration. In this case, you are asking for the dollar LD underscore five dollars at five years. Why we don't know. To make this kind of determination we would need to test various level of gravity on a lot of people to have a statistically significant sample, with different gravity levels, and have these people live in those conditions for five years. We don't have the facilities to perform such extensive studies, and those we have in place have been used to test subjects akin to astronauts, which are nowhere representative of the 95% of the population. If ever, they represent the 5% of the population.